Okay, um, here's the second half of 6.3, interpreting graphs. Um, we've only dealt with straight lines so far and dealing with the slope. Um, you know, going uphill is positive, downhill is negative, and you know, just, you know, what a slope of five means or a slope of three halves means. We're going to take that and just go one step deeper. Um, and, and it's really just an understanding of straight lines that's going to let us understand a curve that looks like this. Okay. What this really looks like, and now this is, you know, on a graph, and it's telling us, oh, tell the story of what's going on. Maybe on the bottom here is time, and maybe up here is, um, oh, population, or money, let's say money in your bank account, all right? So, the story here is, at the beginning, okay, if I were to just maybe break this up into straight lines, at the beginning, the slope looks like this. Okay, that's a pretty steep slope. That's a big number. It is growing fast, meaning when I go over maybe one day, I've made oh, a whole lot of money from here to here. Okay, well, that's great. You know, that's a very profitable day. All right, now if I take another section, it's now not as steep. And then even over here, it's even less steep. Now what I've done is I've just taken this curve and I've kind of broken into three sections, one right here, one right here, and one right here. Okay, so I've kind of just split it into three chunks. Okay, and this is just an approximation. So now what happens is over a day, which is about the same width as we have here, instead of making, oh man, maybe this was a hundred dollars, wow, that's, for you guys, maybe not that much money. For me, that's great, a hundred dollars, I love it, right? Or a hundred francs, a hundred euros, right? Whereas here in that day, ooh, not a very profitable day. Maybe we made like 20 francs or euros or dollars, okay? All right, that's an, that's an all right day. Maybe you babysat and earned a couple extra dollars, right? And then up here at the top, we take a day, that same gap. And during that day, you made nothing here. This line is flat, or in this case up here on the left, you made a little. Let's say we made something like about zero, or maybe we made one. Dollar. Okay, so the story behind this is it's increasing, okay, because it is going up, right? I mean, your bank account, the money in your bank account went from zero, whoops, went from zero to a hundred, and then went up twenty more, so now it's at a hundred and twenty. Then when it went up about one more, and it's at one twenty-one. So I mean, your bank account is constantly going up, 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 up. It's not going down. So it is increasing. However, the deeper meaning behind, yeah, of course it's going uphill, is it's slowing down. Okay, and this is having to deal with acceleration. Okay, and what that means is at first it was steep. You were gaining so much money every day. And then it slowed down. And at the top here, it's almost flat. Okay, so the steep went from very steep like a cliff to very flat like a flat line. So it's increasing, but it's slowing down. All right, so let's look at a question. Okay, this is gonna be number one of exercise nine. Okay, so let's look at this. Here is a question and four possible graphs that we're gonna choose from, okay? So it says, which of these best describes or best represents this statement? Okay, so unemployment is still rising in other words, going up, but by less each month. In other words, not as fast. All right. Well, first of all, we can obviously cross out this one, okay? Because it's not rising; it's going down. Okay. As time goes forward, this is going down. This is a negative slope. It's going downhill. So let's just get rid of that one. All right. So now we look, and on the left here, we have a line that's going up, but it's going up the same amount each month, a straight line. So every day, you know, one more person is unemployed. The next day, another person. The next day, one more. The next day, one more. On and on forever, okay? So that's not it, because it says less each month, okay? It's slowing down. So we have two possibilities, a curve upwards or this curve facing down, okay? Both are going up. Okay, from the beginning, it's going up, 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 up. And from the beginning, it's going up, 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 up. 
Okay, the difference is at the beginning, this one is going up really fast and then going slow at the end. This one is going slow at the beginning and fast at the end. So this one is speeding up, speeding up, speeding up, and more and more people, it's getting steeper, more and more people are becoming unemployed every day. Okay, so this isn't going to be it. It's this one over here because at first a lot of people are becoming unemployed. Sadly, a lot of people are losing their jobs. And then as time goes on, it gets less and less steep. So still people are losing their jobs, but fewer and fewer people. Okay, let's look at another problem. Okay, here's another problem where in this case they give you a graph with curved lines and you're interpreting it. Okay, so first let's just understand what the graph is. It says here time in seconds on the bottom and on the side it says distance along the road in meters. And over here it says it shows the motion of three cars, A, B, and C, along the same road. Okay. Um, so in other words, three cars left. Um, they didn't start at the same place. You can see uh, one started about 100 meters away, one started about 80 meters away, and another one started after about, um, I don't know, three seconds later than the other ones. Okay, so let's look at the question. So A, which car is in front after 10 seconds? So let's picture this like a race. Okay, if you got a head start starting about 100 meters ahead, and one started in the back about three seconds behind the others, but the answer to A would be, okay, after, and I'll do this in blue so we can see it, after 10 seconds, this car is about, I don't know, 175 meters away. Uh, this car is about a little under 250 meters away. Oh, and this top line, which is line B here, that car is ahead. Okay, so part I, the answer is B. All right, and then II, after 20 seconds. So we go to 20 and we see, okay, C is, you know, not even 400 meters. B is about 400 meters. Whoa, and A is all the way up at 500 meters, so it is by far ahead, so A is ahead. Okay, and let's look at B. When is B in front? So for what part of this race, if you want to picture it as a race, is section or is car B in front? So what portion? So that would start about here, when line B passes line C, and then it keeps going in front until, boom, car A passes it. So from about, oh, that's seven and a half seconds. Let's round up to eight. So, or, you know, seven, seven or eight seconds until, and a little after, 17 and a half, so 18. So let's say from seven seconds until 18 seconds. Okay, for that portion of the race, car B is in the front. Okay, now it gets a little harder. So question C says, uh, when are B and C going at the same speed? Okay, well C is going basically at a straight line speed the whole time. So all we have to do is look at when is B going at that straight line speed? Okay, well B starts out pretty dang steep, okay? So it starts out pretty steep here at the bottom and it ends pretty flat. So this is just a guessing game here, but if I were following this line, I would think somewhere right around maybe this section, the two lines are going the same. So maybe at around, oh, let's say 17 seconds, I would say. 16, 17 seconds, okay? About 17 seconds. There is no correct answer there without some sort of um, way to calculate or measure that but these squares are relatively large. You don't have any data points. You don't have a computer. Um, so there's no way to calculate this. We're just interpreting, reading it, and doing our best guess, okay? Uh, D says, when are A and C going the same direction? All right, so again, C is going about a steady speed the whole time. So if we look at A, A starts out pretty slow, speeds up, speeds up, and going really fast at the end. So at what part is it the same as this line? 
I would say somewhere right around maybe here. This section looks about the same as this section. So maybe a little under 10, maybe at 10. Okay, so let's say 10 seconds for that one. All right, so at 10 seconds, it looks like the slope of line A and line C are at about the same. Um, question E says, which car is going the fastest after five seconds? So in other words, at five seconds here, which of these cars has the steepest line? Which one is going the most amount of meters in that tiny amount of time? So which one is the steepest, going the fastest? And I mean, it's obvious here that you have, um, you have let's see, C and A going pretty flat. Here's line A going pretty flat. Here's line uh, C going pretty flat. It's this line D, or <laughs> getting my letters all myself. This line B cutting straight up here, this super steep diagonal. Okay, so it's gonna be line B is by far going the fastest there. And then lastly, F says, which car starts off slow, so at a pretty flat line, and then goes faster and faster, gets steeper and steeper and steeper until it's almost straight up and down. Okay, well let's look. C, goes about a steady speed the whole time. Pretty boring, right? They never hit the acceleration pedal, the brakes, no turns, and nothing going on here. It's just, uh, just driving forward, right? Okay, that was my car sound, by the way. All right, and then B here starts out super fast, and then, I don't know, maybe like in Fast and the Furious, they, boom, they hit that nitrous too early, and oh, 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 running out and slowing down. Whereas A starts off slow, like that famous story, the tortoise and the hare, the rabbit and the turtle, right? Starts out slow and then faster, 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 faster. I don't think the turtle in the story actually speeds up, but either way, faster, 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 and sure enough, A is the one that starts off super slow and speeds up at the end. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to see this, that just by understanding the slope, whether it's flat, slightly up, or very up and down, very steep, like straight up and down, um, you can start to understand, and then as it changes from flatter to steeper to going downhill or uphill, you can start to get a story from these graphs. And as I've said over and over, this is super important, regardless of what you go into. I mean, Whatever, whatever it is, business, uh, I keep saying business because so many people go into business now. If you go into just even work in retail, I mean, you're going to need to look at sales charts, um, science, math, economics, uh, you know, I mean, whew, the list goes on. Anyways, uh, good luck on the homework, and I hope you have a good week with substitutes.